This tree behind me is a Platinus racemosa, also known as a California sycamore. I want to talk about all the different aspects about this tree so you'll be able to identify it out in the field. Let's get to it. The botanical name is Platinus, and Platinus is Latin form of plane tree. And the species name is Racemus, and it's actually a form of Latin coming from race moose, and the meaning of race moose is clusters, as in the seeds on this tree. California sycamore is native to California, and um, it's a tree that can grow to be about 80 plus feet tall. It grows from 20 to 50 foot wide canopy. It is a, a broad canopy tree, so it is a decurrent tree where it'll have more of an irregular and a, uh, umbrella-like shape. Um, so what, um, another thing about it is the leaf structure is alter alternately, um, it's on a, it grows an alternate on the stem. So the alternate on the stem would be where the bud grows and they're on alternate sides of the stem. Also, when we were talking about the species name, it says racemosa, and that would mean that the way these grow in a cluster, and these are really small fruit. They're not as large as they can get. Usually they can get about um, like this size, you know? But uh, when they refer to that species name as growing in clusters, it was this, because a lot of some of the other sycamores, they grow in twos or they might have different um, shapes. And also it's a simple leaf, and it's a simple leaf that's palm, palmate. So to see what the leaf is, you would go down to the bud and you pop it off, and this is actually the leaf. It's um, a lobed leaf, which means these areas are the lobes. Kind of looks like a maple leaf, not really, but <laughs> um, that's how you find the, the leaf of this California sycamore. The, uh, the fruiting time, or the, the flower is incomp inconspicuous, and usually um, you'll see it in springtime, and you'll see the fruit in the summer. Um, what is kind of interesting about this is that I've been told that when the young trees in California, if these also get something called anthracnose, it's a, a fungal disease. What anthracnose can do to the young branches, it could cause them to deform. So if you ever look at these California sycamores in California, you'll notice that a lot of them have these awesome looking twisty shapes. Where um, if you go up and look at the canopy, like even on this one, it's not like it's uh, cousin the London Plain where it's an upright growing tree, but these guys, you'll see a lot of the times they'll have these bent shapes and these broad branches and they're like, they have all these different bends. And that's because the anthracnose, when, it's, when they're young branches, will kind of get into the bark and deform the branch. But it's not something that'll kill the tree, it kind of just deforms it and the tree can still grow, which is really pretty awesome to me. When you get to the bark, it's a furled bark and it sometimes has patchy and you can get a little bit of a cream color and sometimes green and gray. But it's really an awesome looking tree. It's one of the ones that'll grow large and it brings you lots of shade. Um, I like it because they're, they're pretty good to climb in, except for the, the leaves on them have a little pubescent hair. So sometimes it can make you choke a little. So you just gotta be careful of that. Well, there you have it. The Platinus racemosa, also known as a California sycamore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm hoping that this helps you identify this tree out in the field. Take care, we'll see you next time. Thank you.